Good day, welcome. My name is Chantal Ludic from Ludic Attorneys. Today we will be talking about the different types of lawyers that is involved in a transfer process. The reason for this discussion is I have quite a few new buyers who is really unfamiliar about the different types of lawyers in the process and what each resp the responsibility of each lawyer. So today we will dis we will be discussing that. So the three different types of lawyers that is involved in a transfer process is the cancellation attorney, then you get the transferring attorney or the conveyancing attorney, and then also the bond registration or the bond attorney. So firstly, we're going to discuss the cancellation attorney. What does the cancellation attorney do? The cancellation attorney is a, is a, is a firm that is on the panel of a bank. So, for instance, if the seller has a registered bond over his property for APSA, then APSA will have lawyers on their panel who will be appointed to cancel the bond on behalf of the seller. So, all queries relating to the cancellation of the current bond of the seller will be referred to the cancellation attorney. And the costs of the cancellation attorney is paid by the seller, which is approximately about between four and five thousand rand. That amount will be deducted from the purchase price when the transfer registers. Then the middleman is the transferring attorney, that is also known as the conveyancing attorney. That is the lawyer that is appointed by the seller in the deed of sale. The transferring attorney is the attorney who physically uh, transfers the property from the seller to the purchaser. And all transfer related queries will be uh, directed to the transferring attorney. The transferring attorney's costs also includes the transfer duty and the transferring attorney's cost is paid by the purchaser. Then you get the bond attorney. So the bond attorney is the attorney who will attend to the registration of the new bond on behalf of the purchaser. Let's say for instance the purchasers obtain a bond from F&B, then F&B will have attorneys on their panel and they will be appointed by the bank. So the bank will appoint the bond attorneys and the bond attorneys will attend to the registration of the bond. So all queries relating to the registration of the new bond, your terms of conditions regarding your new loan with the bank, that is your interest rate, the amount being um, the loan amount and all those related queries will be directed to the bond attorneys. The bond attorney's costs is paid by the purchaser, also prior to registration. We all have to work together in order to register the transfer in the deeds office. So first we will cancel the bond, we'll transfer the property and register the new bond. But all of this will happen, will happen simultaneously in the deeds office and everything will happen at the, on the same day at the same time. Thank you for watching and our contact details will follow below. If you would like to use our services, do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you.